It's no secret that Big Sky offers some of the best skiing in the country. And it also brings one of the world's best skiers right here to Montana. For seven weeks of the year, you can find Dan Egan carving up the slopes of Big Sky. He looks like any other skier on the mountain, but he's far from average. Dan is a professional skier and an early pioneer of the sport. He was named one of the most influential skiers of our time by Powder Magazine. And he's been hitting the slopes ever since he could walk growing up in Boston. The way my mother dealt with having eight kids was to get us all outside. So we would sled on the hill, ski on the hill, just go out and have a blast. His brother John became a pro skier when Dan was 14. And after college, Egan followed suit. The two started making films together in the most dangerous places on the globe. Our whole marketing plan was we went around the world wherever CNN was. They partnered with Warren Miller, skiing in places where the biggest worldwide events were taking place. We jumped off the Berlin Wall in 1989. Uh, we skied during Perestroika in 1990 in, in Russia. Uh, we skied with the Kurds in the first Persian Gulf War on the border of Iraq uh, and Turkey in 1991. Many of their adventures brought them to the most remote places on the map, and many came with a price, like having a gun held to their heads in Turkey, this near-death experience at Grand Tarhi by a cornice break, and being trapped at the top of Mount Elbrus by a storm that killed over 30 people before Dan was rescued in a snow cave after 38 hours of being missing. But Dan Egan skied history. To him, it wasn't just bringing these incredible movies into the homes of millions of Americans. It was doing what he loved. I consider myself sort of a skiing artist. I, I like to leave my signature on mountains all over the world. Uh, my signature is my tracks. And I've been blessed to leave tracks in some pretty outrageous locations. And, and to me, it's an expression. It's an expression of uh, my personality. It's an expression of my athleticism. And it's become an expression for my life. And when we come to the uphill ski, the hips come forward. Now you can find Dan you teaching anyone who wants to learn how to ski. You know, a lot of guys can ski as well as he does, but uh, his teaching ability is really, um, it's really impressive too. So, you know, he can do it and he knows how to teach it and dumb it down for you. And his camps are designed to make you think deeper about how you are skiing and attacking the mountain. He does that by making campers face their fears with steeper cliffs or runs through the trees all to make them more confident about their abilities. What did Dan say yesterday? Taking the oh no and turning into an oh yeah. Dan says teaching is at his essence, and he loves sharing his knowledge with anyone who wants to get better at the sport. He especially loves sharing it with the people of Montana. They put their chin to the wind. You know, they, they're not afraid of the cold. They're not afraid of the, the wind. Uh, they're, they're gamers. They're ready to go for it. And, and I appreciate that. And the Big Sky Resort, in Dan's opinion, offers the best skiing in all of the U.S. Big Sky has the terrain. They have the snow. Uh, they have the lift access. Uh, this is as close to Europe as you can get in the lower 48s. There's no doubt about it. And there's a vibe here. There's a real passion for skiing here. And his decades of experience have led him straight to an induction into the U.S. Skiing Hall of Fame in the spring of this year. It gave me a lot of perspective on my life. I mean, how did two Boston street skiers grow up to make it all the way to the Hall of Fame? It's quite a journey. Uh, and it really gave me an appreciation for all the people that helped us every step of the way off the streets of Boston all the way to the Hall of Fame.